Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today, Retro Sunday, we're going to pick up from where we left off on The Sims 1 Get A Life mode on console. We are now on Mission 3, Party Animals. So we finished off the last episode by getting our third promotion at work. Mimi came to pick us up. Malcolm Landgrab gave us a load of money. And now we're just about to move in with Mimi. So let's go. Oh yeah, I will save. Yeah, sure. I'm recording this on the same day. Not all of them are filmed on the same day, but I just thought I'd treat myself today, you know? It's Retro Sunday, why not? I can't believe you actually moved in with Mimi! What a loser! You need to find a better roommate, throw some good parties and improve the decor to attract the right crowd. Okay, well let's check out my goals then. So, get promoted to career level 4, okay fine. Upgrade your abode, throw a raging party, move out with one of Mimi's friends. Seems a bit fucking harsh, like... She's visited me every day that I've been living in my own place. She's invited me to live with her. She let me live at her house rent-free. And my entire goal is to just boy, boy her off, basically. I mean, I'm not above it, so that's fine by me. Now, really, I need to work on my bod skills. So, I'm thinking maybe first things first, let's get, um... Let's get a treadmill, shall we? Or maybe one of these, exercise machine. Yeah, that'll do. Let's do a workout. We need to start getting some body skills. Look how fat she is. She's so fucking fat. You need to work out, man. If you want to get anywhere in the entertainment business. Listen to those noises. She's really giving it some, isn't she? She's giving all she's got. You received a body skill. Yeah. Well, we need two for the next promotion. It's just the noises, man. The noises coming from this sim. Yay, we got another body skill point. Okay, so we have all the skills we need for a promotion. But now she's she is not happy. Well, that's fine. You, get, you can go and have some dinner if you like. I'll allow it. How do I throw a party? I assume I use the telephone. Yeah, throw party. Okay. I mean, really? There's nothing stopping me from throwing a party now. Although it kind of seems like that should be the last thing I do. I don't know. Maybe I'll save that. Oh, who's this hunk? We should deal with... We should go and say hello to him once we get done on the shitter. Say hello to this beefcake over here. Oh, hello. How do you do this fine eve? How do you still have a low bladder when you literally just got off the fucking throne? How can you tell me that you still need to use the bathroom? Well, I tell you what. If you, if you go and take a shit, then I'll let you watch some TV. This is what things have been reduced to. I'm now having to talk to my sim as if I'm potty training a fucking toddler just to get you in a good enough mood to do an okay job at work tomorrow. Okay, that's enough fun. Let's get some sleep. And maybe tomorrow after work we'll throw a party. Maybe. If you get a promotion, maybe. But if I remember correctly in The Sims 1, I don't think you can get a promotion within a day. Even if you have the skill and everything. I don't think you can. I think it takes at least two days, minimum. Oh, hey, hot stuff. You haven't got anywhere to stay? Space right here, next to this bed, my man. Space right here. Nah, it's cool. I wanted my own space anyway. So I can switch control to Mimi. Okay, good, good. I bet she doesn't have a job, does she? Oh, no, she's a slacker. She's a golf caddy in the slacker career. Well, Mimi, maybe you can use this spare time to clean up after yourself, you filthy bitch. <laughs> I asked her to do some cleaning and she's like, I'm not into manual labor, Patricia is the maid around the house. Okay, you know what, maybe, maybe I was wrong what I said earlier, Mimi can go fuck herself. We, we will find someone else to move out with, fucking bitch. Perhaps I was too quick to defend her. Well, you know what then Mimi, if you're gonna be like that, you could just go to bed. You could go to bed on your own, you could go to bed with this guy, catch some kind of STD, I don't know what you want to do. Quite frankly, I couldn't give a shit. Just get out of my hair. <laughs> the snoring. The carpool for Mimi will arrive in an hour. Okay, well then you can wake up, get ready for work. I wonder if I got Mimi to, like, serve... Wait, does she even have any cooking skills at all? She's got loads of cooking skills, so if I get her to serve breakfast... Does that mean there will be some for my sim when she wakes up? Or is Mimi just going to be a bitch about it? Why do I have to cook? Patricia is the chef. Oh, you fucking bitch. Fuck's sake. 
What's the point of having two player mode? She won't do she won't pick up after herself. She won't cook. You're the one that has to go to work. So you you're screwing yourself over here. All right. Well, good luck with your sad life. I hate that chick, man. I hate her. Okay, well, we may as well wake up now and we will go and have breakfast. We've got a few hours before work. We start work at 9, so that should be enough time to have breakfast, take a shit, maybe have a quick bubble bath. Please don't start another fire. Okay, good. Okay, hunger's looking pretty good. How about we take a have a, a super quick bath and then we can take a little... Oh, we don't have time. <sighs> okay, well, we're just going to have to smell today then because we need to have our, our morning, morning dump. But maybe if you shit quickly... You can have a very quick shower. Very quick bath, even. Just take a super quick bath. Just be, like, super duper quick. Just super duper fucking out. Okay, she hasn't even got in yet. Well, that's not going to happen then. <laughs> you took too long running the bath. Well, have a good day, I guess. If you get a promotion, great. Probably won't, but try. Ah, well done. Mimi got a promotion. You gonna tidy up now, or are you just gonna be a dick about it? Will you will you tidy? No, you are gonna be a dick about it. Okay, well then, just go fuck yourself then. But not literally, because I genuinely don't want you to have any kind of good time. You fucking bitch. You know what, Mimi? You seem a bit tired. Actually, just go go to bed. Go and have a sleep. So her last job, she worked what eight till three, so she should be finishing at about four o'clock, I think. And hopefully, if she's in a good enough mood when she's back. We'll take a bath, and then maybe, maybe, we'll throw a party. <gasps> yes! We did get promoted in the same day. <gasps> and we unlocked the strip poker table. Perfect for our party. Oh, I'm going to buy it right now. Strip poker table. Woohoo. Okay, let's, uh, we'll put it there. Do I need to buy chairs for it? I mean, I assume so, right? Oh, I still need to get another promotion. What? Oh, but if I get another promotion, I know what that is. That is the vibrating, not the vibrating, it's the um, the hot tub. So maybe, is there anything else I could get for throwing a good party? I've got my little strip poker table, got a TV. Do I have a stereo? Yeah, got a stereo. I mean, <laughs> could get a basketball hoop sure <gasps> congratulations the house is looking great you unlocked the sweets way tree swing oh great great tree swing okay well you can finally go and have that bath that you didn't get to we didn't quite manage that this morning did we because you was a bit slow but it's okay so what do we need for another promotion quite a bit we need to work on your charisma your body and your creative skill Mimi fuck off you haven't heard of knocking? Oh, for some reason I don't have a mirror in this bathroom. Is there a mirror in this one? Yeah. Right, we will practice our charisma in here. And hopefully, I, I highly doubt that we will um, be in a position to get a promotion. And I also need another friend as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think we're going to get another promotion. So what I might do is just try and get her, like skill level and her friendship to where it needs to be and then maybe tomorrow I'll care more about you know her needs and shit keeping her in a good mood for work and you know what I might just hire a maid because I can't be fucked with all this tidying I'm busy enough we're a stunt double now we got shit to do can't be cleaning up after that lazy slob hey we got the charisma skill that we needed would you like to hire a maid? Yes, I would. We desperately need one. And look at that. Mimi actually made some food. Oh, that was nice of her. Thank you, Mimi. Oh, Mimi just pissed herself. Well, that's what you get when you act like a prick to everyone. You get a god that doesn't have any incentive to keep you happy. So, And she, she literally has no want or desire to go to work either. Well... That's what you get. Maybe you should take a bath then, you stinky bitch. She's probably going to get fired now after missing work. 
I wonder if I ask Mimi to clean up that puddle, the puddle that is literally her own pee, I wonder if she would be like, no, that's for Patricia to do. I bet she doesn't clean it up. Oh, have you had enough of that? Okay, well, you can, you can get some sleep then, I guess. <laughs> the snoring is so loud. They always complain when you wake them up. You've had enough sleep, you're fine. Every time she cooks, I'm, I just think, please don't start a fire. Okay, and so let's watch some TV and hopefully that will make you happy enough to do a good job at work today. Not that it makes any difference because she still has a friend and two skill points that she needs to build. Maybe if we give Mimi a compliment. Oh, did she not like that? Fucking bitch. All right, well, let's just go to work then. I mean, you're in as good a mood as you can be. Well, seeing as it's just me and Mimi, I guess you may as well work out for a bit, I guess. Although she's probably going to say no, isn't she? I'm not into skill building. <laughs> All right, fine. Go and feed the fish. Oh, thank God for this maid, huh? Hopefully she mops up that little piss puddle that Mimi left. Patricia's back. Okay, so I'm thinking, let's try and work on this friendship. You guys are living together. You need to live in harmony to some extent. So Mimi, maybe you could try and be nice to us for once. Maybe. No, not insult or tease. Maybe we'll just talk. All of Mimi's, like, go-to interactions are just bitchy. Yeah. The maid is finally finished at, like, 5pm. The house was that much of a shithole. It took her all of those hours to clean it. Okay, so I have an idea. How about we get one skill in working out, then we try and be Mimi's friend again, then we'll work on our creativity skill. Oh, I don't know. Her energy's going down pretty quickly, though. Yeah, she kind of gave up on that before we finished gaining a skill. Well, how about we grab a hamburger and then maybe we'll get some sleep just for a few hours. Oh, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to um, get a promotion still. Well, can we at least talk to Mimi before she goes to work? Just a little bit? Oh, dear. Okay, fine. You can go to bed. There you go. Get some shot eye. Okay, that much energy is going to have to do for now. Because we have too much shit to do. Okay, let's switch over to Mimi. Get her to grill some burgers so that that gets us something to eat. And then we will go and watch TV until we feel comfortable enough to try and build some skills. You gonna work out for me? Just a quick little morning workout, huh? Okay, good. Let's just try and work on some kind of friendship. Because she's obviously not going to um, build up any skills in the next hour. So we may as well just try and talk. Try and at least make a friend in Mimi. All right, time to go to work. Okay, you can go to bed. Okay, Patricia's home. Will she play guitar or will she say no? Because her fun is pretty low. So if she says no, I'll just get her to watch TV. Yeah, no, she's saying no. She's, she's shaking her hand. She's saying no way. No way, Jose. Fine, come and watch TV then. Okay, what about now? Will you do a workout now? You just need two skills, Patricia. That's it. You just need one more body skill and then a creative skill and then be nice to Mimi. I know that's hard. I know she is a bitch. I know that. But if you want that promotion, you know, sometimes you have to kiss someone's ass, even if it smells like shit. No, don't give up. Don't give up. You were so close to that third point. You were so close. Don't give up. There just aren't enough hours in the day. It takes so long to fulfill these needs. What do you mean, uh-uh? Okay, you know what? I'm going to try a different strategy. I'm just going to put her needs at the back burner and just try and keep her happy enough to build some skills. Because right now, I feel like I'm just making no progress. It takes virtually the whole evening just to try and get her somewhat happy. <laughs> what do you mean, uh-uh? Okay, how about now? Will you work out now? Please? Oh, oh why not? <laughs> Oh, the Sims 1 compared to The Sims 4. <laughs> oh, I do prefer this game because it is a bit more challenging. But it's just challenging in kind of an annoying way. 
like an annoyingly repetitive way, like having to go through the same, same thing to be able to just build one skill. In the last two days, I haven't been able to get to even just one skill up. <laughs> okay, so your, your fun bar is like halfway up. Will you do a workout now? Please. And just keep going until you get a new skill in it. Okay, let's just try, let's just try and build one skill, can we? Just one, just one skill. <laughs> what a fucking bitch. <laughs> well, at least we're trying to learn something new, me, me. Maybe you wouldn't know anything about self-development. Okay, we've gained one skill in creativity at least. That's, that's good, that's good. Energy is like really low, but fuck it. <laughs> All right, Patricia, let's go to work. Have a good day. I know you're not going to have a good day because you're exhausted, but... Mimi? She's like picking up a plate of burger and then just leaving it and then picking up another plate and then sitting at another seat. It's like she's deliberately creating extra work for the maid. What a bitch, man. What a bitch. Okay, we're home. We are exhausted, so I'm just going to send her straight to bed, get some sleep, and then hopefully we can build some skills after we've had a little bit of shut eye. All we need to do is just make friends with Mimi and get one body skill. And then we should be able to get a promotion. And once we've done that, then I'll feel a bit more comfortable doing the, the party thing. Hey Mimi, how about you go and rustle us up some burgers, huh? Make yourself useful. Okay, let's wake up, have a burger, chat to Mimi. See how she's doing. Let's just talk to Mimi until her carpool picks her up. See if we can become friends, maybe. Oh, she pissed herself again. Oh, how embarrassing. The maid's going to have to clean that up tomorrow. I wonder if she will agree to do a workout now. Oh, it looks like she's agreed to do it. I just need her to hold on for long enough just to finish getting this skill. And then be friends with Mimi. Yes! Great work. Okay, so let's just work on your needs for a little bit. I guess Mimi isn't going into work today because she's just chilling in the hot tub. And <laughs> not even gone to the car, so... Okay, well that's good. That means maybe we can try and work on our friendship. Congratulations, new creator sim head option. Why? Is that because we made friends? Oh, yeah. For some reason though, it... Looks like I don't have enough friends, but I think I do. Oh well, let's just work on your needs for now. Why don't you go and get some sleep and then we'll we'll figure it out. So, I mean, needs are okay. They're all right. Maybe we'll just try and have a super quick nap. Maybe we'll try and have some fun. I'm just a bit concerned about that friend bit in my job section. Because I, I have two friends. I mean, yeah, one of them is mum, but... That's still a friend. Maybe, um, maybe I'll throw a party when she gets back from work. Even if she doesn't get a promotion. So that she can at least make another friend. Oh, time to go to work. Why are you taking so long? Go to work. Damn it. So let me get this straight. Your hunger is like only a third full. And your hygiene is completely empty. Yet you decided it would be the right time to make hamburgers. And not to go and have a bath. You stinky bitch. Okay, so I'm thinking, as soon as this chick gets back from work, Patricia, I mean, we're, we're going to throw a party. Because she needs another friend. Throw party, yeah. We will. Sounds great. I'll be right over with some friends. If you call some more people, we can have a really big bash. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I will call some more people then. Okay, so Mimi, you're going to need to get grilling so that our guests have something to eat. And my sim is going to turn on the radio, well, the stereo. Hey, check it out. We got some people. Let's talk to this guy. He seems cool. Carlos. I like Carlos. I wouldn't mind being his roommate with that little mohawk he's got going on there. Maybe me and Carlos can be friends. I mean, maybe. Is it rude to sleep at your own party? Maybe I could just have just a little sleep, just a little tactical sleep. Ha, huh, things aren't going too well with Carlos. That was all just a waste of time, wasn't it? Okay, who do I get on best with? Pauline. 
Well, let's just work on our relationship with Pauline then. Maybe if we get someone dancing at the party? Yeah, there we go. Mimi's dancing. Perfect. And we're just sleeping. Okay, that's enough sleep. We need to we need to go and mingle. Why don't we talk to Betty? Is this Betty newbie by any chance? I'm genu I'm surprised that Mimi hasn't been fired because she hasn't gone to work for like three days. No wait, Betty, stay there. Oh no. Toilet's overflowed. Someone's blocked the toilet. Well things with Betty seem to be going reasonably well. Although we are almost out of energy. Maybe we can just keep it up just for long enough to make friends. Please be my friend. Oh no. She passed out. Wake up, wake up. We've received a complaint from one of your neighbours about the noise. Let's break up the party so people can get some sleep. It's not even midnight. Okay, let's go to bed. Well, we didn't, we didn't make a friend there. We did get close though. So close. Actually, you know what, Mimi? Instead of going to bed, you can make some more hamburgers so that my sim has something to eat when she wakes up. Oh, shit. That toilet's busted. What about this one? Shit, man. They're both busted. Oh, she is having just no fun at all, is she? Oh, no. She pissed herself. Oh, dear. This is not, this is not really going our way, is it? Well, no. There's no point going to the toilet now. Just take a bath. And the carpool is coming in an hour. And we're really not doing too good with our... Uh... I wonder if I can call in to work when that phone stops ringing. No. There's no option to call in sick. So you're just going to have to go to work even though it's no fun. And you're having a bad time. Maybe she'll have fun at work. Oh dear, the maid is going to have her hands full today, isn't she? So I'm thinking let's throw another party tonight. We'll invite uh, Betty over, and then perhaps we can make her our friend. Okay, we're home from work. First things first, let's just watch a bit of TV, because right now, she's a little bit of a grumpy moo. So maybe we'll watch some TV, we'll get a little bit of sleep. Thanks, maid. Okay, I think that's enough fun. Let's just get super quick amount of um, sleep. Mimi's making some burgers so we won't have to worry about cooking our own dinner. Just get a little bit of sleep and then we can throw another party. Alright, I think that's enough. That's enough. Let's throw a party and we'll also invite Betty. Although I can't remember Betty's surname. Obviously not um, newbie then. Roomies? Oh, there we go. Call Betty. Yeah, there we go. Great. Mimi, why don't you rustle up just a few more burgers? I know you already made some, but... And then we'll give... We will invite Betty. It's going to be a great time. What a fucking bitch! On my list of favourite things to do, seeing you is at the bottom. So unnecessary. I actually really need her to come over because... She's the person I know the best. She's the... The person I have the best chance of, um, making friends. Wait, is that Betty there? Oh, thank God she's here. Great. Betty's the one we, we gotta try and move in with. I think Mimi's not gonna go to work again today. I think she's probably gonna take the day off again. <laughs> we just gotta try and be friends, okay? It's not that hard. Just try and, try and stay awake for long enough to just make one more friend. <laughs> Oh dear, the police have come to shut this party down. I just need you to hang on just a little bit, okay? Just so that Betty can become our friend. Just a couple more interactions. Yes! Oh yeah, we made a new friend. What about if we ask her to be roommate then? Will she say yes? Or do we need to get to know each other a bit better? Okay, no, she's um... Fine, go to bed. What are you doing in my room? Well, at least we have everything we need to get a promotion. So all we need to do is just try and keep her somewhat happy so that she can maybe get a promotion tomorrow. Yeah, bye guys. Bye. Mimi, why are you still awake? Go to sleep. 
Okay, I think that's enough energy. You need to use the bathroom and take a bath. We really don't have much time to play with here. To try and get you in a good enough mood to do a good job at work. Okay, you're clean enough. Get out. You've got work in an hour, so let's just try and watch some TV and try and get you in somewhat of a good mood. Okay, time for work. Let's hope we've done enough to get a promotion. I really hope so. Girl, come on. Would, would, I wonder if Mimi would unclog the toilet or if she would be like, no, no, that's for Patricia. You gonna unclog the toilet there, Mimi? Even though it's your toilet? No. <laughs> so I guess you're going to have to use my toilet then, huh? Because you refused to unclog your own toilet that you clogged with your own shit. No, no. Unbelievable, some, some sims, man. Oh. Ah. Oh. After all that, we didn't even get a promotion. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm not really up for another party, but maybe we can just call Betty, have a bit of a chat with her, you know, make sure she's doing all good. We'll just talk. Also, I've noticed that throw a raging party still hasn't been crossed off, even though I've thrown two parties. So I'm not too sure how I can tell whether my party is raging or not. I am genuinely amazed Mimi has not lost her job yet. But I could really do without her bullshit. So she is going to go to work today. Go to work. Just need you out of my hair for a little bit, okay? Okay, let's have some breakfast. Hopefully by the time we have to go to work, we would have filled all of our needs. Just try not to set the house on fire, huh? I mean, this is going relatively well so far, you know? Needs are looking okay. Mimi, maybe if you could rustle up some burgers, then maybe we could have, like, just something quick to eat as well. I know we just had breakfast, but Sims are never happy, are they? Okay, so let's just watch some TV, and then maybe we'll just grab a burger super quick. And hopefully, it will put us in a good position for work. Okay, see you later. Have a good day. Try and get that promotion, huh? Oh, Mimi's sleeping in our bed. Oh, I'm so glad, I, so glad I got them made. Best investment I've ever made. Yes! We've been promoted to B-Movie Star. Sweet success. And I unlocked a spa system. The hearty hot tub. Right. Next on the list. Throw a raging party. Mimi? Oh, good. You're already grilling. Thank God. I was just about to ask you to do that. I hope it doesn't tell me to now get the next promotion. No. Okay, good, good. Let's turn on the stereo. Hopefully Betty turns up. Maybe I'll call her anyway and just ask her to come over because I want to ask her if we can be roommates. Oh, Betty's already here. Let's just greet everyone. And then maybe we'll dance. Hopefully some people will join in. Yes! Congratulations, this party rocks. So if I just go around and talk to everyone, hopefully that will turn it into a, a really good party. Okay, let's ask Betty, let's ask her the question if she wants to be roommates. Hopefully she says yes. If you want me as a roommate, you better throw a better party. Get the hot tub going, cook some tasty food, get people talking. It'd be good if you were in a good mood too. Oh shit. Okay, let's get some sleep and then I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this hot tub. Oh, I can't afford it. Okay, well maybe we'll just get like a little bit of sleep and then we'll get everyone in the hot tub. Oh, everyone's going home. Oh. Okay, we're gonna try this party thing again. She came home from work, I sent her straight to bed. She's still a bit tired, but she's not, like, exhausted or anything. So I figure as long as we greet people... Mimi's rustling up some burgers. If we try and get people in the hot tub, that would be good. Okay, well, Mimi, you can take the day off. You can just go and get in the hot tub, and that way it might encourage other people to get into the hot tub. 
and then maybe if Mimi puts some work in as well, goes and talks to people, that would be good. All right, let's get in the hot tub. Let's get some people outside. Who's that at the door? It better not be the police. Oh, shit, it's the fucking bacon. Hey, listen, we don't want any trouble, okay? It's not even 11 o'clock at night. It's fine. How about we dance? You want to dance? No? Oh, okay. That's cool, I guess. Where's Mimi? Hey, Mimi, how about you rustle up some more burgers, huh? Oh, I, ju I think she just said yes to being my roommate. <gasps> Did she? Now this is what I call a party pad. You should move in with me. Then we'll meet some people who really know how to party. Oh, sweet success, Betty. Sweet success. Oh, Malcolm, you know, you have really gone above and beyond the call of duty here. Let me compensate you for the things you bought. Malcolm owes Patricia 850. Oh, good. Thanks, Malcolm. Well, I think, I think that's mission three complete. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Quite an abrupt ending, huh? So, mission four, hot to trot. That will be the mission that we do in the next video. But I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Retro Sundays. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.